But let me seize this opportunity to launch one of the most important aspects in our numerous efforts to sensitize our personnel with regards to their conduct during the 2015 elections. The conduct are mainly to do with non-partisanship, they are mainly to do with accessibility, they are mainly to do with humility so that they continue to provide the enabling environment for the electorate to go and exercise their constitutional rights, which is to go and cast their votes. Similarly, it is the same conduct that will enable the candidates presented by the political parties to achieve their desire, which is to win the election and lead us accordingly. The book we are launching now is a pocket-sized book which every police officer will have. And it is also a book that will extend to our police in other law enforcement and security agencies whom we are collaborating with, in particular, to secure the elections before, during, and after the casting of votes. This book is titled The Nigeria Police Force Standard Operational Guidelines or Rules for Police Officers on Electoral Duty. It is simply a guide to all police officers on their legal responsibilities, ethical expectations of members of the public from them before, during, and after the elections. This is aimed at improving the individual and ultimately the general performance of the Nigeria police force in ensuring free, fair, and credible elections. But before I go on to launch the book, let me acknowledge the assistance of our collaborators, in particular the UNDP and the DFID, who assisted us in no small measure to make sure that this publication see the light of the day. I cannot also forget to acknowledge the persistence of the Department of Operations to make this a reality. It is on this note that I, on behalf of the management team of the Nigeria Police Force and other senior officers launch this standard operational guidelines for all police officers. And police officers here include from my humble office to that of a constable. While doing this, let me sound a warning to all police officers. If for any reason you are found to be involved in misconduct that is contrary to these provisions, the Police Act and regulations have made appropriate punishments or sanctions 
for such misconduct. However, before we go into sanctions, like we have started and will continue to do, we will continue to sensitize everyone, educate ourselves to understand our roles, to also know the expected form of conduct from each and every one of us, so that we may not need to go into sanctions. But let me also seize the opportunity to say that as we go on sensitizing our officers, including this publication, which is the first time the Nigeria police is doing it on its own. I hope other stakeholders will also continue to sensitize their members so that this apprehension <coughs> over violence cannot can be reduced, stopped, and even become a thing of the past. I want to thank each and every one of you for making this a reality. Thank you very much. I published 400,000 copies. That is why I said every police officer is going to have a copy and even our colleagues from other services will get. Thank you.